If I was going to create a community in 2024, this is what I would do. I'm going to give you the blueprint of the questions I would ask myself, the different tech options that I would use. And at the end, I'm going to talk about if we're going to launch a brand new community for you all as well. Stay tuned. Let's go through the first step. What are the questions that I would ask myself? Well, first, I would use this guide, validate your side hustle in one hour, and I'd ask myself these three questions as I'm validating. Number one, who am I helping? Where am I going to start? Am I helping an industry that I'm in? Is it a is it a community that I'm really passionate about? Who am I helping? Number two, I'd ask, what does success look like? What does it look like for me? What does it look like for the community? For example, how much money would I be making in order to sustain the community? What does success look like for the community itself? Are they learning a new skill? Are they getting support? What, what does success look like? And then I would use the workflow to validate the app or the community. The I'm going to go through this in a second, but let me know in the comment section down below. Who are you helping? What community are you trying to build? What does success look like for you? And of course, you can write this down on a piece of paper or let us know and we'll we'll comment back to every single person that asks those questions or gives us the answers for your community. Now, this is turning your idea into reality. Although this has to do with a digital product or an app, it works the same exact way if you're creating a community. Uh, for example, let's go through a couple of this. Do people need your community? Let's put it that way. Do people need your community? If you say yes, you can go on. If you're not sure, you need to get more input. If I'm saying, hey, if your community is for IKEA fanatics, do people need that? If you're like, I'm not sure, you need to talk to more IKEA fanatics or you need to talk to your ideal customer to see if they're even excited with that type of community. For us personally, we are we we work with a lot of different um, people with expertise with their skills and they're trying to figure out how to monetize that skill. And War is talking about creating a YouTube channel. Show your skill so you can get paid. Um, so we're experimenting with a lot of that. And we've created YouTube groups throughout the years of cohorts thinking about bringing it back. The next one is, does it already exist? That's important because if you're thinking about a community, does that community already exist? If it's for a gaming community, maybe it's a gaming community for Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VII or something like that, right? So does it exist? If it doesn't, great, keep moving on. If it does exist, that's okay, but can you make it better or different? If it's for a specific game, a video game or even recreation, if it's for uh, uh, Frisbee golf, maybe there's a community for Frisbee golf that are for competitors, like it's competitive, maybe you'll make a community for fris Frisbee golf for just recreation, right? So how can you make it different or how can you make it better? Now, after you go on from that, will people want it? Now, if you're saying, I'm not sure, you need to still get feedback. If you're saying, yes, they do, do you want to do it? Now, that's really important because you might go through all these things and you're like, yes, I can validate. But then I say like, do you want to launch your community you're like, ah, that's a lot of work or ah, I don't really know. You need to decide like on that before you even go on. Can you make this community very easy? Can you almost make it a flywheel? Can it move on its own? Can you just set up a community and you think you already have people that want to run it? They just need the technology, right? You need to think about something that you can do in your sleep or you can set up and there's already people that want to run with it. That's the only time that you're going to want to do a community because guess what? Running a community is really difficult. So if you're not passionate, if you don't have the time, you don't have the desire, it for the most part, it's going to be a no. It's going to be a no. The only time is if you've got five people, they're like, we'll take care of everything, Doc. Like, we just need a platform. Pay for the platform. We'll run it. You'll get a percentage. Then I'm like, okay, great. Let's sign some contracts. Let's go. But if you don't want to do it, uh, like, think about it. Really think about it. But if you do want to do this, awesome. You go for the ask. Now, what does the ask look like? Well, we'll talk about that in just one moment. But if you're trying to get your own ideas or new ideas, make sure down below you check out our free 50 plus high profit side ideas. 
side hustle ideas, which can really be different benefits you can offer in your community or just communities that you could do right now. For example, we talk about Coda, Notion, Glide. Are there communities that you could build specifically for those audiences? For reality TV, maybe you watch a very specific reality TV show. What does the community look like there? You can get the access to all the 50 plus ideas down below. Now, if we look at going for the ask, that means going and asking if they're going to pay for it. Are they going to pay for your idea? And that's what's important to really help to see if this is something that you should build and people will actually do it. You need to see if they're willing to pay you. If they're not, you've got to do more work. Now, let's shift gears and talk about what kind of tools can you use if you decide to pursue this idea to create a community. Well, there are three different platforms you could consider. The first platform is Uscreen, the second one is Heartbeat, and the third is Group App. Let's go one at a time. Uscreen is a platform for you to create an all-in-one membership platform for creators. So if you're a YouTuber, um, if you're on Kick, Twitch, whatever, this is great for creators. It allows you to have all of your fans to be on one platform and for you to get them off of other social media platforms for you to really talk to your audience and have the community that you want without having the fear that you could be booted off of one of these platforms. And really, you're renting land on those social platforms. This is your own brand. This is where you can build out your community long term. The second one is Heartbeat. This is for community businesses. And one of the things that you can be doing with this is you can have, you can host conversations here, courses, events, content, and the onboarding flow is something that really stands out with using Heartbeat. And Group App, it's an all-in-one learning community platform for knowledge creators. So it's very specific, but it allows you, if you have an expertise, if you're um, a, a teacher or a consultant and you're thinking about scaling your business, this is a great option for you. Now, we've had other videos in the past that kind of talk about some of the features, but just highlighting a few with Uscreen, what I really like is their marketing and analytics. Their toolkit for marketing is second to none. It allows you to really scale and have a small team and do a lot of things with the marketing. For Heartbeat, I think if I'm running a product-led community, this is probably one of the greatest ones I can have right here. Not only can I run the community, but the analytics, the built-in analytics of if people are in different rooms, like audio rooms, like Discord, if they're interacting, I can have so much analytics that then if I'm bringing it to the stakeholders, I can justify what is the community doing? How are we growing? How does this fit in with the bottom line and how why is this so important to have? This is huge. Working with different um, software as a service, SaaS platforms in the past where they're having communities, having that those insights allows you to continue to have funding. So if it's product-led, I think this is a great platform. If also I'm, um, I'm also a consultant and I'm thinking about using something where I'm building out my, my, um, my community, this is something I would look at. Now, you might be saying, well, wait a minute. If you're saying all that about Heartbeat and Uscreen, what is Group App great for? I really think Group App allows you to have everything on Rails. What I mean by that is trying out all these different platforms by far, although Group App, app has restrictions, it allows me to almost be on Rails that I'm not breaking things. Uh, I find that Heartbeat has so many different options. It can be a little bit overwhelming at times. Group app, you can set it up within a few minutes. We've done videos before about it. And I think that's what allows you to shine with it. Again, with uh, Uscreen, it depends on what you're using it for, what kind of entrepreneur you are, if you're a creator, all those things. And let me know in the comment section down below, who are you? <laughs> you know, like what kind of creator are you? Are you an influencer already looking for a platform? Are you just getting started and you're just looking into no code or having a side hustle from your expertise? Let me know in the comment section down below. And the last portion is, if I'm looking at all the, these different things, if, and if I feel overwhelmed, go back to these three questions. 
or these two questions. Ask yourself, who are you helping? What does success look like? And that's going to help you to get started. Now, at the beginning of this video, I talked about us possibly launching a new community. Right now, we have Doc's Help Desk. And in previous videos, we were talking about, we've tried tons of different platforms. But for us, for our style and who we serve, we have found having our community just using paper form and Notion, paper form where we take the payments and then it redirects them to a Notion doc. They can ask questions, have access to Doc's AI bot to ask questions about their side hustle. This has worked for us in the past. Now, going forward in 2024, we might be launching a brand new community along with a brand new channel that we'll be announcing in a few weeks called DIY Media Makers, where it's teaching people how to monetize their expertise. So if you have a skill teaching you to have a skills portfolio to get the job and the life that you've always wanted. So that's coming soon. We're going to be working on a new community that teaches people how to express themselves, create that content so they can get those types of jobs or opportunities that they're looking for. That's something that you want to see the behind the scenes. And if we build this out, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, this is for you to get started for 2024 in building your community and what we would do if we start from scratch. Let us know about your journey in the comment section down below. Let us know what kind of community you're running, what you're planning to do for 2024, and we'll see you in the next video.